All right, part B, it asks for each of g prime of negative 3 and g double prime of negative 3, find the value or state that it does not exist. Okay, and we recall that g is a function defined as an integral of f, and we have a graph of f. And this has showed up, I think, the past two years, so something to keep in mind for future tests. Um, so let's look at this, all right? g of x is this integral from 1 to x of f of t dt. So let's write that down. g of x is equal to the integral from 1 to x of f of t dt. And so the derivative of g, and I'll write g prime of x, will be equal to the derivative of this right here, this integral, and this is just a simple application of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So 1 to x of f of t dt. So long as this x down here matches with this x up here and I have a constant in the denominator, um, I know that the derivative of the integral, um, they're inverses in some ways, they cancel. So um, I'm left with f of x. And that's great. Um, I'll go and find g double prime, the second derivative, before I evaluate things, just because what the heck I can. So g double prime of x then will be the derivative with respect to x of f of x, and that's also called f prime of x. Okay. Now we need to start looking at how to find our um, derivatives evaluated at negative 3. I believe that's where we had, yes, g prime of negative 3 and g double prime of negative 3. So using this, g prime of negative 3 will simply equal f of negative 3. And we look at this, we go, this is a graph of f. We go to negative 3, go up to our curve, it's straight in this section, and we see that it has a value of 2, so f of negative 3 is 2. Next, we look and see this second derivative, um, g double prime of negative 3, and that's going to be the first derivative of f evaluated at negative 3, which is the tangent slope. But that's easy to figure out because in this section, in this interval, f is linear, and if I did a little slope formula, you know, 3 minus 1 is 2, negative 2 minus negative 4 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1. Um, so this, um, this delta y over delta x or dy over dx here will be 1. So the first derivative of f evaluated at negative 3 is 1.